Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Tacky CV tutorials. Today we will discuss about one of the component which is get subfolder directories. And we will prepare one use case using that component. So I've created this job which has one transformation and one job. So if I open this transformation, I'm using this component get subfolder names. So inside data integration test one, if you preview, I have two folders, subfolder one, subfolder two. And in each of the subfolder, I have one file, right? Which is dim employee details CSV. Now I am copying these folders to copy rows to result. I'll close this and I'll go to delete files from subfolder. Here I'm running this one by one. If you open here, see folder name. And I'm setting this variable, right? I'm writing to log subfolder name is this, right? And I'm deleting the file based on wildcard. Now, when I said one by one, if you click here in edit, I have clicked on execute every input row. So whatever the data it will get from here, I'm getting two rows, subfolder one and subfolder two. So it will run one by one for this. So in case there is a requirement where you need to delete files from particular subfolders, you can use this component and the wildcards to do the same. Let me run this job. It's executed successfully. C subdirectory is folder two. N subdirectory is folder one. Let me go here. If you see files are not there, right? That means it's deleted from subdirectories. Now here, the tricky part is let me open this again. Now, if you see here, preview the data. Can you see last modified date? Right. Based on this also, you can, if you have 100 folders, you want to delete the data from the directories, which are the oldest one. So based on last modified date, you can do the same. So make you use of this field as well. Last modified time if it is required in your use case. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please share and more and more. Thank you very much.